Amphitheater. Little Easter eggs hidden inside our system just became our biggest security threat. Rally the team. We have, might, might have to go line by line to find them. There we go. I am all too happy that they left those Easter eggs, i.e. actual traces, taps, and who knows what everywhere. Oh, this is open. That's, um... Really? Okay. I was expecting somebody in here. Oh, um... There we go. Two lasers, one at ankle height and one at waist height, and that hallway would be impassable. You wouldn't even have to have to motorize. Yeah. Wouldn't it just? How could you, you know, adequately jump over that thing, or... That would solve all your problems, but... Well, you know, the moving around lasers does... You know, they make it look cool. Access granted. Urgent response. A Nigerian prince. <laughs> nice. Very nice. That's the horrible Disney team that's growing shadow over trusted memories. Aw. Uh, does anyone know lore wise if laser is just visible or if Adam has an augmentation? That's a good question. I imagine it would have to be Adam's augmentation or something because uh, normally the very idea of lasers is that they wouldn't be visible. And then I can get the security thing moving around to make him a little bit more unpredictable to figure out. Uh, then I could get that. Uh, let's hack this baby. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, Hutor, that is, um, I'm, I'm reading a book, Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Politics, and that involves the, um, basically, um, it's, oh, what do we call it, Transmedia World Creation, where... Access denied. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, I thought I had a second more. Where, um, the idea is that multiple stories work together to form one newer story as a whole, which is an interesting idea. I like, um, it, it's a, f it's a fruitful way to think about these things. And I agree that the, um, you know, adding newer movies don't diminish the quality of the older movies. Even though, uh, I'd say most of the newer movies are Access not interesting granted. to me. You know... They they don't blemish what was there. That's what it runs out barks there. Is there any other option but to deliver? I'll figure out something. Got the penthouse breathing down my neck about the new biochip. Oh, that's the one they were talking about downstairs. It has to be delivered to Lim Corporate for worldwide distribution within the week. What are they developing though? Yeah, Vayne, uh, that I agree with, actually, that the new ones are more action movies, whereas the original trilogy were not action movies. They were more fantasy movies. And that I agree. That I that I liked. That perspective. Sending down a new Nerve Interface Protochip that depends on one's mass-produced Nerve Interface Protochip. Begin to send the line manufacturing. This one's sensitive, Z. No one but you, me, and Boken's team should see the chip. This is interesting. So that's the chip that they are basically um, using second-rate goods on to produce. Huh. We're definitely going to hack all these computers to get the, uh, the, the full background story on this one. I want to know what's going on. Even some decent philosophical theological pieces, as long as you take it for what it is. Well, I think. I, I think that's. Whoa. Okay, that was a. That's the sensitive one. I think that's the the difficulty about that experience, though. That people want it to be what they love about it. Oh God, I should have. I should have used a nuke. Access denied. I should have used a nuke. I was so so silly there.
I was trying to hold the conversation and do the hack at the same time. But yeah, that, that's my argument, I think, as well. Where, for instance, I don't mind the Marvel movies. If you look at them as movies, they're terrible. You know, if you think about actually what they do as movies... Okay, this is not going to go well. If what they do as movies, the script writing overall is not good in the slightest, but they're entertaining. Access granted. And, you know, if you go in to be entertained by a silly superhero romp, then they deliver exactly what you want. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Somebody wants an access code, and as usual, we leave those lying around. Yeah, I think that that's... The people who fell in love with the original Star Wars for the, you know, that that interesting sort of romantic fantasy aspect that it had, they feel, Access you know, granted. they see a loss in the new movies. Um, hmm. Maybe murder would be interesting, but that would lose me my ghost bonus. And that's, I think, the uh, the difficulty of what um, what is your starter perspective. That, I think, determines what you enjoy. Although, if anyone can explain Jar Jar Binks to me as a positive, I'd be very impressed. There are four people here, huh? Yeah, that is... I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that guy being covered by somebody, I think. If I read the uh, the map here correctly, the two of them are walking towards each other. That's one. The other one should be right next to it. Should be right here. So ideally, I want to take care of these guys like this. Just take them out to increase the amount of space that I have to move around. Because I think that the other person you see on the map there is in another room. Password update. Pangu TYM. And new is Geng L. So again, we're getting more passwords. see. Assuming that the other person is indeed there, we need to wait until we get more energy before we can take out this guy here. Ooh. I could... Wait, what? That makes noise? Oh, God. Did not know you could search through all these drawers. From what I can see, he's the only other one in this room. Just gonna wait on him. Well, it's very similar basic set of rules, open a way for a plethora of different media and genres. Look at the DLC Age of Shield and something like a blue cage with Jessica Jones, yeah. Although, essentially, um, they have the same story. If you look at the bare bones of it, it's done in a different way. But Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, they're, they're basically the same story. I mean, it, I mean not in the same way that, you know, uh, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit are the same story. Very different execution, but the exact same story. If you want your greedy Star Wars Netflix series, that would be cool, <laughs> actually. But yeah, that, that's as well what I was talking about with expectations. If you know that, you know, the gritty Netflix series and that that's the trope and that's what you can, that's what you get offered... And that's what you expect, that's fine. Now 
next three decades in sickness and in health. The horror wrought by the Malaysian H5N1 variant viral outbreak in 2018, coming less than a decade after the 2009-2010 swine flu pandemic, showed the world that despite advances in medical technology, we as human beings are still as much the prey to disease that we were during the era of the, era of the Black Plague or the 1918's influenza occurrence. Scientists claim to be closer than ever to cures for cancer, for age, HIV virus, and other disease vectors. We might hope that in the next 30 years these killers might be finally put to rest, but we must also consider that our changing world brings with it new iterations of old pandemics, and so we as a species will remain under the shadow of a threat from some new as yet unencountered confluence of viral forms. I love the idea that we have an Adam Jensen who takes a little bit of time to relax on the couch, read, uh, read an ebook. I think somebody is there, but okay, let's uh, let's try and hack over here first. Also, we had all these, apparently, to look through. Okay, new password. Oh god, we had all of them back there as well. Let's see... Yeah, yeah th that's difficult, isn't it? Just the idea of cheapening a franchise, because it is a one-off action movie, absolutely. I think that's literally how they're marketing it as well. Just, you know, the Star Wars franchise, here's a different movie in the Star Wars universe. I don't know, that there's a problem for me with trying to... It's an argument for purity, isn't it? You know, I want my franchise to be pure. I want it to have this specific feel. But then you have the... Then you have sort of, I think, a self-fulfilling prophecy in... You'll want a specific form for new movies, but then to what extent can you get new content if it's also in that very same strict style? Let's uh, get some hacking done. Oh god, that was quick. Access granted. There we go. Taking lunch money from poor office workers. Hey, they work for an evil corporation and must be punished. Financially. We've run into some difficulties regarding the interpretation of key design elements indicated in Pantria Blueprint R18000, general overview of drone suit and rig. As direct result of this failure, the drone elements installed in the core of the installation are expiring more quickly than we'd like. Can you guys send your original designer to your Arctic station for a few days so we can consult? We'll arrange transport. That guy does not know that they stole the design from Seraph. Had a sudden brainstorm. Sal wants us to increase productivity in the factory, right? Most of the people working down there are dying to get moved upstairs, so what if we promise to make that dream come true by sending out an internal communication like the opportunity of a lifetime? You have dreamed about starting a new life in Upper Angsha where the air is pure and possibilities are limitless. Now, Tai Young Medical is giving you the opportunity to live the Upper Hengsha lifestyle. Every month, each department will choose the employee who best represents Ta Young Medical's standards of business excellence. These employees will be entered into a draw to determine which lucky employee will be moved to the upper levels. Remember, it pays to excel at Ta Young Medical. Hell, if we actually have to pay out, we can always use them with a few more test subjects, right? See, Fub? See, we are now justified in stealing from them. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, that's how ethic works. That's how ethics work. Not not really, but you know. Again. Everybody keeps their password right next to their PCs. This is not okay, people. 
Hey, I just received the new Nerve Interface prototype the Penna sent down. Where on earth did she get this device? From what I can tell, it's light years beyond anything our research teams have come up with. You're sure she wants it sent straight to manufacturing without letting research take a look at it? Kanji and his boys could learn a lot by reverse engineering it. Yeah, absolutely not. She told me herself that the only people allowed to see it are you, Hui, and the lower factory workers Hui selects to manufacture it. Better choose a good team. It's a massive rush order for Lim, and we can't afford to have any rejects. Rogue One feels much as Storytales Transformers 4 does, ah, as in make a movie for the movie. In the past year, we successfully upped up presence of key markets, Sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, target percentage of CISOL are really high. But everything we're doing, they're vital markets that are close to us. Eh, marketing. I am, um, I'm not a big fan of marketing. The purchase gives Taeyong a significant increase in global market share. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live Basically, from we, you know, in, in... The the department I work, we have um, we have some marketing courses as well, and it really comes down to lying to people to get them to buy things they don't need. I mean, they they say that that's not what they do, but when it comes down to it, that's exactly what it is. Security room, huh? So uh, let's have a look. Where where are we even? I'm getting. This is security room. So there's two offices. There's a guy here looking directly at the door. So this will probably be off limits. There we go. That's where we need to go. Okay. Sounds almost like a new life awaits you in the off-world colonies. Exactly, Alex. That's that's why I read it that way again. A new life awaits you in the off-world colonies. The chance to begin again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure. Hear about what happened with the boss in the hive? Did he choke out another big mouth? Where's chicken? So we stroll through the hive and this broad starts laughing at the boss's humor. Like she's never seen a bell tower god before. Boss is already pissed off about what happened at the capsule hotel. So he gives her the stare of death. Boy, do I know that's there. Yeah. So the chick's boyfriend starts acting all tough, gets in his face for disrespecting his girl. So what does God do? He comes Nothing but blood and screams, man. Blood and screams. Yeah, I'm starting to think that this might not be a room I want to get into. Also, how did they not notice the door opening? So how the rebellion managed to steal crucial plans lead to destruction of the single most powerful weapon in history? Eh. I don't know, Luthor. I, I'm actually... Oh. Wow, okay. I'm actually okay with that just being that happened. Let's, you know, move forward from there. That's, I think, that was the interesting thing about that move. To just say, we have these plans. Let's, let's move on. I wonder if I can... Okay, that was uh, easier than I expected. That's where I need to go, but... Let's see. See, you already know that over here... Terminator. Yeah, that, that guy is looking directly at the door. There we go. Ghostly. Hey, Blue Phoenix! How are you doing? Nice to have you in here. Everything okay? How is the arts and crafts going? Well, mostly arts, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Vaden, many Bothans do need to die in that movie. That is, uh... Okay. That is the absolute requirement. Mm. 
Yeah, I have so much junk. I really need to throw some out. Okay, you're gonna stop me right there? Okay, Huther. Uh, are you talking about Tevanen, or are you saying that it's DLC time, Huther? Okay, this is uh this is gonna be a quick one. Wow. Access granted. So we're recording off the building, but subjects evaded capture. We also exposed a gate entry to a concealed room in the apartment, and we're awaiting DSEC to do a deep hack of the hardware. In the meantime, we're conducting a door-to-door -door sweep of the perimeter. Intel suggests subjects may have gone underground. A possible source of new info may be the local triad groups. More specifically, Dom. Stand by when you're yours. This was just now. This was uh, where it was earlier, when they were trying to get uh, to the windmill. Probably nothing but a low life in Hotel Hong Hao was forthcoming. Ah. Find him and eliminate him. Yikes. Marketing is a worm tongue to consumerism, Sourman. Yes, Alex. Ah, oh, that is a good expression. That is exactly it. The worm tongue to consumerism, Sourman. Exactly. Uh, it's it's that whole thing of for one I read I read these student reports where they're talking about creating a need in marketing uh, creating a need in in consumers whereas I think no if if there's no need you don't need to create the need if the need isn't there then apparently your product is nonsense and nobody wants it access denied wait what oh okay <laughs> Getting so riled up with my anti-capitalist sentiments. Possums were on fault with the plants of the second district. Oh, why are they now? <laughs> uh, a, uh, the Huthor, that is that is a good use of the snobby emote. If if you are snobby about the Star Wars franchise, then good sir, you deserve to be snobby about that franchise. Uh, it might have been a better idea to actually nuke that one, because now I'm not gonna have. Oh god, I completely Access did not. Granted. <sighs> completely did not notice on time that I could have just hacked the red there. That is awesome. I'd really like to know what that says. But that is a nice piece of art. You doing good? Just add some more memory to your laptop? Ah, always handy. Please inform Ms. Zhao that, while appreciated, her concern over Seraph Industries' ability to weather recent setbacks is completely unfounded. Mr. Seraph has no intention of selling his company to Taiyang Medical now or at any date in the future. I respectfully request that you tell Ms. Zhao to cease any and all future communications along these lines immediately. She will not, Mr. Seraph will have no choice but to view them as hostile and take steps accordingly. You tell her, Athene. Madame. I've received a response, but nothing's changed. Do you wish me to begin approaching the stockholders? Hostile takeover. No, do nothing for now. The man is stubborn, but he can be broken. Right now, he's trusting to the strength of his connections. Those idiots in Washington will keep funding his research. Take away those, weaken their confidence in him, and he will have no choice but to sell. We're getting... This is this is where it starts getting cyberpunk. We're getting swept away in... In just... Corporate... Politics. Wait, what? Oh, camera. <laughs> so, Blue, any specific reason you're adding more memory to your laptop? Going to be uh, playing something that requires a little bit more oomph? Let's see, let's hope that we can hack this camera from here. Yes. This does not hack. Elevator access code, we have it. Yeah, we read that one and we read this one, okay. Let's 
So, uh, let's see about moving off to this. <sighs> nope. No, thank you. Ah! That was stupid. Just running in front of the camera. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope, nope, don't notice me. Never mind. Did we already read this? Not in this one, okay. I do want to go in there, though. You know what we're going to do? Try and see if we can uh, hack this super quickly. Although, actually, I should have probably just entered the code that I have. Yeah, see, the, the camera's now seeing me already. Okay, uh, we have the code, so I'm going to load up, do the quick save, because we can run in there. We can enter the code, just run in there, get our stuff. All we need is... Actually, let's see if we can try it right now. 6906. Get in there. Beautiful. Oh, this is actually where I need to be. Oh, in that case... Uh, let's quick save here. See if we can sneak in. There. Because I figured that that little room to the side there would be the extra bit. Because always, always look at the extra bit. Taiyang Medical in you. Corporate history. Taiyang Medical was incorporated in Shanghai in 1977 as a designer slash manufacturer of silicon prosthetic limbs. Throughout the 1980s, Taiyong Medical grew to be a moderately sized company with two factories in the People's Republic of China and sales all across the Southeast Asia. But it was in 2009 when Zhao Yongru, one of China's first and youngest CEOs, brought a unique vision to the company that Taiyong became a name known around the world. Working with the Army of the People's Republic, Yunru's altruism and business acumen cemented an arrangement to supply augmentations to amputee combat veterans making Taiyong Medical a corporate force to be reckoned with, fueling new expansion across Southeast Asia and growing African markets. Later in 2017, Taiyong Medical was invited to take part in a audacious Hengsha Island project, leading to the construction of its corporate headquarters. Here's one comment I have about the game though. Everything is about augments. Every single thing is, hey, how do you feel about augments? I don't know. It augments my augment. Augment, not augment. Augment, augment. Perfect. You'd like to play Jackbox with your viewers and to prove your stream? Ah, uh, yeah. Just in general, you know, more memory will uh, will help that. But Jackbox, that is a lot of fun. I always enjoy playing that with uh, Kashi. Hey, oh. Serif man. Son of a bitch. Van Bruggen? Just thought you'd wanna know. I survived that little surprise party back at the hotel. And I'm sailing away Not from a the Dutch hole as we speak. All because of you. You wanna thank me? Forget you ever had this frequency. I got a better idea. I'm looking at your bank account right now and... You know, Sarif really ought to pay you more. Van Bruggen? No need to thank me, man. Just... Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand, really, really? You gave me a tenth of what I own. I mean, thanks, but yeah. Actually, it was uh, more like a thirteenth. Hey, wild card! How nice to see you. How are you doing? Everything okay? Oh. This is going to be a cinematic bit. I'm hoping we can just walk through here, no problem. Not to make it easy, but just to make it a little bit more cinematic. Kashmir's Beast, the Chicago Twitch meetup? I think so, yeah. I thought he said he was going to be there. Fried rice. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I uh, I made myself a, a nice big omelette. Nice strips of bacon. Just really good filling.